Hi, this is Katrina Sargent, owner and creator of Devil Doll Custom Creations. Today we're going to be doing a wood grain guitar paper mate pin tutorial. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't already watched my basic pin tutorials, I have one for epoxy users and one for Crystalac users. Please go and watch those because I kind of breeze through a few details on this tutorial. So first you're gonna wanna start with a prepped and painted white pin tube. You're gonna wanna have gloves, protect your surface. I just have this puppy piddle pad that is awesome for this. The colors I'm using are Ranger Inks, Tim Holtz Ranger Inks, and Butterscotch, Ginger, and a little bit of Caramel. My main color is always Butterscotch for the light colored wood grains. Here is a half inch chip brush. I got them at Harbor Freight, I believe. You can get them a lot of different places. So I want to just kind of do a base layer of these inks. So I'm kind of just putting them on, brushing it around, just making sure all the white is covered with a little bit of ink. The more ink you put on it, the darker the color, and the more you're gonna be able to move around that color later. So once I'm happy with it, I go from one end and put a little bit of ink on it and use my brush to make upward movements with that brush. And then I go from the other side and do the exact same thing. This is going to give you the variation of actual wood grain. You also can put it on your brush bristles instead of dripping it on the pen. On tumblers are a little different. It's a little easier than these little teeny tiny thin pens. Sometimes they run and if it runs around the pen, you're going to see a line you're gonna have to cover that up with more inks so the easiest thing to do is really just put the ink on your bristles and then brush it on from there when you are brushing it on I will say stick to one direction at a time then you can go from the other direction the next section once you're happy with one color now is your time if you want to add different colors to kind of break up the monochromed colors. The darker colors you go, the less you're gonna wanna put on your brush or if you're dripping it on because it's way darker, you're gonna want to just do very little strokes, very little variations just to kind of add a little dimension and texture to it. And then you're just going to keep doing this around the pen until you like the look of it or like the color variations. Just keep remembering to change your brush angle, change your pen angle. So it's not all just one direction straight up and down. You can stop in the middle and just do a middle section if you want that variation also. This is basically just kind of playing around until you're happy with the look of it. You can seal your inks in with clear spray paint. Very lightly start, barely any dusting. And then the next coat, about 10 minutes later, do a little bit heavier. The next one, do a little bit heavier. You can do that way before you epoxy, or you can just let your ink sit for 24 to 48 hours before you move on to this step. Here is my listing I created to make it perfect size guitar for these pens. You find it on Etsy. Once you've printed your guitar image out on clear water slide, you're going to want to trim it up close as possible to the edges. Your pen should be cured. Do not sand it where you're going to be putting your clear water slide. You will see the sand marks. So I've trimmed it up and then I'm just going to add it to a container of water lukewarm water if you have it too hot it will 
release from the backing too quick and sometimes the inks can smear. When you are using laser printed, which is what I do, you don't have to seal it. If you are doing inkjet printer, you're going to have to seal your water slides. There are many videos out there on how to seal it correctly and how many times. You're gonna to wanna to have a cotton rag or cotton gloves, which I am obsessed with, with these water slide. You're gonna to wanna to also see where the top clicker is for the pin versus where the pin tip is. You're gonna want the guitar to be facing a certain way. I have it facing pin tip down. That's the bottom of the guitar when you're adding it to your pin. Also, never force a water slide to release from the backing before it's ready. It will release naturally when it's ready. It will slide right off. If it still sticks certain places, that means it's not ready. It can warp your image. It can remove your inks. You can have all kinds of nasty stuff with it. However, how I do my water slides is I usually set it to one side on the pen and then slowly remove the backing from there adjust it and then try to remove the water and air that's between the water slide and the pen once I'm happy where it's sitting. You're gonna, it's gonna move, it's gonna shift, right? But once you have it kind of where you want it, that's when you're gonna wanna try to dry it. And remember, you have to be gentle with water slides. Water slides are kind of a delicate thing. Um, you can rip them very easy. You can remove inks extremely easy. So just take your time, gentle hands, have wet hands when you're touching it, things like that until you're at the drying spot. And that's when you're going to then take a coffee filter, a cotton rag, cotton gloves, things like that to dry your water slide from there. Since these have vertical lines on the guitar strings, just make sure they're all straight up and down. You don't have any wonky, you don't have any angled at all, things like that. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it and you learned something new. Please like, share, subscribe, Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post new videos. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments. I do write back. And thank you to everyone for your continued support.